Is Putin looking to create some kind of not only military presence but an alliance in the region, Syria, Iran, the Baghdad government in Iraq? He already has that alliance he and basically this is just putting the uh, icing on that cake. I would like to thank Russia's leadership and the Russian people for all the help they've given to Syria. If the West won't protect him from the unruly mobs, then Putin will. That is the case with Syria, Russia's closest ally in the Middle East. We're following breaking news overnight. The UK has voted in favor of leaving the European Union. The total number of votes cast in favor of leave was 82,000. You know, when I came here 17 years ago, and I said that I wanted to lead a campaign to get Britain to leave the European Union, you all laughed at me. Well, I have to say, you're not laughing now, are you? Today, the government acts on the democratic will of the British people, and it acts too on the clear and convincing position 
of this House. A few minutes ago in Brussels, the United Kingdom's permanent representative to the EU handed a letter to the President of the European Council on my behalf, confirming the Government's decision to invoke Article 50 of the Treaty on European Union. The Article 50 process is now underway, and in accordance with the wishes of the British people, the United Kingdom is leaving the European Union. dramatic escalation, Fox News has learned Russia sent the largest shipment of missiles to date to Syria, a month after Russian President Vladimir Putin pledged to scale back his forces there. U.S. officials tell Fox in the past two days, Russia delivered 50 short-range ballistic missiles to the Syrian port of Tartus along the Mediterranean. Russian SS-21 missiles are called scarabs by NATO meant to destroy ground targets up to 100 miles away. Russia also recently fired six ballistic missiles from its air base in Syria against opposition fighters. It is not immediately clear if those opposition fighters were backed by the United States. Russia also completed delivery of its S-300 missile components to Iran, according to Russia's envoy to the Islamic Republic. U.S. officials say Russia still maintains nearly 50 jets, helicopter gunships, and drones in Syria.